Hello, here's Mr. Sticker Mania again from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm going to do a live unboxing of this Songs by George Harrison hardback book made by Genesis Productions in England. And it was bought by a man in California and he put it in a closet for 35 years and recently discovered it. And it's never been opened up, and I got a hold of it. Here we go. Supposed to have be signed by George Harrison, and supposed to have the CD in it. It's supposed to be a low number, too, out of the 2,500 that were made. Careful with the turtle, Frank. Sealed envelope. That's the inserts. That's how it dropped. Got the book all sealed up. It says it has the CD in it. Here we go. There's the hardback book. Songs by George Harrison. When it has the one dot, that means that's volume one, 1988. He made another volume two in 1992. George and, and Keith West, the illustrator from New Zealand, worked on this for two years, matching up the, the watercolor paintings to the 60 songs that George wanted in this book. Here we go. Now we open it up. There we go. There's the bound book, Songs by George Harrison. It's supposed to be signed on the first. There's Keith West, the illustrator sign there. Those are his watercolor illustrations. This is one of only 250 extra to the limited edition which have been prepared for review purposes. And there is George Harrison's autograph. So this was the first 250 that was reviewed. See it's got all his songs and watercolor illustrations by Keith West of each each song. Got a little bookmark there. Picture of George when they were doing it together. Making it, they did this and worked on this for two years at his um, Friar Park Mansion. It's got this little CD pull out. CD fill out of the tray. There's a CD of the five unreleased songs by George Harrison. I'd say that's pretty remarkable. That it sat in a closet for 35 years. Okay, also on my Sticker Mania 2853 eBay store. I got a few new arrivals. Got this Beatles tray from 1964. It says made in Great Britain. That's how you know you got an original. And you have to have this sticker, Worcester Ware, on the back. There's no scratches on it at all. 
Got this 1966 unleft old new stock of the Rolling Stones program from 1966 in the United States. In perfect unused condition, printed in the USA. Got these two butcher covers that I peeled from the Gary Hine estate, the mono, which was a little tough, but the stereo really came out nice. That's the best stereo I've ever peeled out of the 10 that I've peeled in my lifetime. Got this mix, mix match of introducing the Beatles. This was released in January of 1964. This is the original version one with all the printing on honey and it has a love me do. This was a leftover copy or leftover cover that they used with the version two records that has please please me on the first side and ask me why on the second. But how you know you got an original it's got to have that flap in there also, that quarter inch flap on the front, on the top and the bottom. Uh, one other thing, I got another Led Zeppelin II hot mix by Robert Ludwig. So the Bridget, when she bought this, she put her name on it, but then she was smart enough to, to um, Carefully cut the hype stickers off the factory shrink and she put it on the front and the back Which makes that pretty nice, but this is the uh, Press well pressing That has Robert Ludwig on the on the dead wax on the fr first side and RLSS which stands for Robert Ludwig Sterling sound on the B side notice a small dead wax That's how you know you got the hot mix that's my new arrivals for March 2023. Thanks a lot.